Hello everyone, uh, Jimmy back again with another GeekCast. Today's project or topic is a Raspberry Pi 3. So I played around with the Raspberry Pi since the first revision of the board, uh, the under one gigahertz processor and all that. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. Well, Raspberry Pi 3, pretty sweet these days. Built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth, and of course, awesome cases out there. Uh, as you know, recently, the NES Classic and SNES Classic have been a big rage, you know, and selling out for ridiculous amounts of money. However, it's honestly better just to make your own dang NES Classic. So, what I did is I bought a Nest Pi case, Raspberry Pi 3, a USB adapter, also got a Bluetooth controller, uh, the NES 30 Pro by 8-bit do, which makes the case too. Um, that actually works with my antenna switch. And, of course, here's the controller. Very cool. It's got all the buttons. And here, I mean, this thing's pretty sweet. Look at the front. Nice access to SD card. You have to watch out for your uh, power cable, though. You have to push in pretty far. Sometimes is isn't a secure connection. And HDMI. And inside... Course, here's what it looks like. That's for the USB hub that's here, and then this connects into the Ethernet to pass through. And of course, the power cable over here. Um, I was I had an infrared adapter in here, and actually it did work. I have a I had a Flurk, and it would work if I had the case open. But I realized I didn't need infrared anymore now that I have my Bluetooth controller, which and I finally have a script that works now too that will let me reconnect to Bluetooth with OSMC as a boot, which I'll show you here. Um, the power buttons on the front don't do a, a soft shutdown, they do a hard one. So I gotta mod the controller here, put some diodes in here and run a script then that can then do a safe power down with that button. Otherwise right now all this stuff is literally cut power. Same with this, resets power. So let's see it in action here, huh? Okay. There we go. Grab it. So that's my whole setup. And the way I've set it up is that I've, uh, my goal was to have it be my Plex streaming box. Sorry, it's dark over here. Uh, one second, let me get everything plugged in first, which is just a power cable and my HDMI. You should always. The downfall at the back is that I think I need to Dremel out the park a little better to get the stick better in there. Oh yeah, there we go, back in it, sorry. So, let's see here. So I had issues right away with uh, RetroPie, or OSMC with RetroPie installed and Bluetooth reconnecting. So, power button, look at that, little power there. We'll turn our Bluetooth controller now to one, two. As we'll see, OSMC is coming up here. So here we are, RetroPie OSMC up with Bluetooth controller auto connected. I had to do the service hack there. So let's see. So we have Plex, weather, videos. Pictures. I haven't uh, had it. I'm gonna add a micro US SD reader to throw a 120 gig uh, SD card in it too for local storage. I uh, plan mainly to do Plex, but let's see here. We'll do RetroPie. Sorry about the demo. Not my best uh, since I'm using a little tripod and my computer. There we are. Very nice. What do you add? NES Classic. I got everything. Well, not everything, but I've been trying to go in through and cleaning up all my games, of course, too. Um, that's always the hardest part. I used, I was using the Ostu, I think it was skin, but after having issues with it, decided to go back to the OSMC uh, theme since I can do a lot more cooler things. So we'll go back. We'll take a look at Plex quick here. Again, seamless. All we're using is the controller here. 
Um, I have a little keyboard, which is, I love this little thing. Hang on, I'll show you that. This little thing here is pretty awesome because it's a touchpad and it's a dongle base too, not Bluetooth. So, plug it into USB with the adapter it has. I think it's like a $20 controller, but well worth it. Okay, back to here. So, let's go look at my Plex quick here. Some not NSFF W uh, pictures on mine. Um, you can totally customize this whole menu too, which I like a lot, which is really cool. Um, I had more, way more problems customizing, trying to customize other skins. I noticed adding menu items and whatnot. So there we go. Just my Plex works. Looks really good. Good job, Plex, on making a good add-on. So there we are. That's basically my RetroPie setup. Um, I think it cost about $120 with all the stuff I bought because I bought the case that was 20, the controller was 40. Retro, the Raspberry Pi itself was was at 40, I think, and then um, of course the memory card. Anywho, so there you go. My latest project. That is how I make my own NES Classic and then some. Because you gotta remember that this RetroPie setup will run basically any emulator under a PS1 and also will let me do Media Center stuff. And the best part is you can hook up a hard drive and actually use it locally, unlike uh, <clears throat> any Fire TV crap. Annoying in Amazon. I, I, I'm very annoyed with how you always have to have internet for certain things. So, anywho, slash rant. Uh, I. Peace.